beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if you're new here, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. Now these videos are designed to help you deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now this week is an amazing week, as always. This is from June the 10th to the 16th. We're going through two phases of the moon and it's carrying on with everything that we were going through last week. Last week was basically setting our intentions. What do we actually want? This was in the new moon in 12 degrees and 33 minutes of Gemini. And as I said last week, this is a really powerful time because it actually um, intersects with one of the four royal stars, Elder Brennan. Um, and it coincides with the, the eye of the bull in the constellation of Taurus. Long story short, it's a really, really powerful time. So we've got the action phase of the moon. This is when we take inspired action and I can't remember what the affirmation is. Oh, I take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. So everything that you had planned last week, you're taking inspired action for this week. Then from Friday to Sunday, we have the Gibbous Moon. This is asking us to trust the process as everything is working out for you. So you're, you're doing the things that feel good and you feel compelled to do because that's in alignment with what you said for the new moon. And that's also a chapter bringing you closer to what you want to manifest in terms of your dream life and what does that look, feel, sound, taste um, like to you. Basically, it's a whole sensory um, overload. Now that you're taking action, now you have to trust that what you're doing is in alignment as we then prepare for the full moon next week. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. I kind of love that this is all happening from Monday. It's like we had the new moon on Monday. Now we're taking action on Monday. I'm not too sure if you are aware, but once we have the full moon, one week or seven days after, then we have the action phase. Then one week after that, we have the full moon. One week after that, then we go back to the new moon. So everything is kind of like in cycles. And I love that everything's lined up with a Monday. I don't know why, it just kind of feels good to just have a fresh start. I just looked at the clock and it's 10, 11, 1, 1, 1, amazing brand new chapter. So if you're new to the fam, you probably don't know that this is just a general reading. So take from this what feels best for you. I use the Shadowscapes Tarot to read for all 12 signs of the Zodiac. Um, just, yeah, just take from this what feels truly best for you if you're new to the fam. So I'm going to start the week off finding out the focus card for the week. What do we need to know? So I hope this helps. One card please angels. There it is. It's making itself very clear. Oh, justice. Holy smokes. Justice is is one of the major arcanas, one of the 22 major arcanas. Justice is, can be very karmic. Um, it's also about restoring the injustices in your life. This is the balance, weighing up the scales. It's very Libra. I kind of, this kind of like reminds me of Libra. Ah, oh, that's it. We're in Saturn retrograde. This has happened from the 25th of April and it will continue until the 18th to the 18th of September. Now when Saturn retrogrades, Saturn is basically the Lord of Karma interesting that this is happening. I'll, I'll read out what I've got from my notes. It says Saturn is the Lord of Karma. Retrograde motion is a time when karma is sorted out. Therefore, Saturn retrograde, Saturn retrograde is a double dose of karma. Karma is a form of energy that is very real. Like Saturn, it's very closely bound to time. <clears throat> I don't understand what that means. Structure bringing more stability. Oh my gosh. So I wonder what this looks like for you. Have you been doing the right things, but you're constantly manifesting terrible things into your life? This is going to be, wow, what a card for the focus of the week. I'm so excited. Okay. Justice. I kind of feel like this is karma. What else do I see? There's transformation. And this transformation, just the butterflies are just, can you see on the screen right now, the butterflies are basically circulating just one portion of the scale. Oh, this is like you're heavily supported. 
If you have been doing the right thing, karma is gonna come in the form of positive karma. If you haven't and you haven't been following your intuition, this could come in the form of divine intervention. I hope that if you have been following along with Weekly Angel Guidance, or maybe if you're new, you're probably like, oh, I'm not too sure. This could, this could be the angels taking you and putting you on the right track. I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. Born this way, born, you were born pure positive energy. And along the way, some of you have actually forgotten who you are. And the angels are trying to bring you back to the essence of which you already were. And maybe some and that may look to other people like, you've changed, you're not who I thought you were. It's like, yeah, I'm returning to who I always was, but I just put on all these layers. It's like, you're still wrapped up in layers on you, boy. And now it's like, you're becoming who you always were meant, to, who you always were. I think that's the best way to put it. Whoa, I'm so excited for this week. Baby, I was born this way. Let me just read the other retrogrades. We're also in Saturn, uh, Jupiter retrograde from April 10th to August the 11th, which is, which is in 12, 24 degrees of Sagittarius, which is all about the test of love. Jupiter retrograde is a time of philosophical and spiritual introspection and reflection involving growth, happiness, and success. Remember I said this year, we've all, it's all about doing the internal work, prepping our foundations, to set us up for success for the next 20 to 30 years. And, and last week was kind of like the green light to be like, big west, keep on turning. And you found the movement when we had the chariot card. Oh, this is so good. What else is in retrograde? Pluto retrograde from April 24th to August the 3rd. I've got in brackets, serious business. I don't know enough about Pluto retrograde, but if you wanna research, have a look at that. All right, let's go to Monday. Let's see what we need to know. For Monday, let's, whoa, it's kind of a very heavy dominant energy. How many cards? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna pull the first one and see if we need the rest. The Hermit, what? That does not fit with this new moon. The first quarter is in, what the heck? This happened one reading a couple of weeks ago too. The Hermit card is like deep introspection, but how does that fit with, with the flip? How does that fit with the action? What does that mean? Okay, or maybe I do need to pull these other cards. The Six of Cups, that's imagination, childlike innocence. The Moon, healing the darkness. <clears throat> Uh, see when I pulled that card went to throat chakra blockage then we've got the ten of pentacles which is like wealth and abundance the tower card I'm just pulling all of these by the way then the tower card is like a massive transformation and the five of swords is like you which which are you going to go towards the darkness or the light let me try and piece all of this stuff together we gotta keep it separated yeah okay I'm gonna instantly go to the two major arcanas. So the tower and the moon. We knew what was happening with the tower. I feel like you're constructing the tower again because it fell apart. Things really had to fall away. And it's a really good thing. I know so many of you, your relationships broke down. This could be romantic. Well, a lot of you that are emailing me are saying that your romantic relationships have, have broken down. This could also be issues with family. And the moon card is like healing that darkness, healing the shadow aspect of yourself. And how do you heal? You have to go within. It's so interesting. This is the internal work. Oh, now I get it. So the work that you're actually doing in terms of the action phase is you're going within. This is meditation. Ah, okay. I was like, why did six cards just fall in? Okay. Okay, so you're doing the meditation. As soon as I see this one, the Six of Cups, I think of imagination, I think of healing the inner child. Whoa, if any of you got my Forgiveness Heals meditation, which was like a year ago when I was doing like tarot readings for you guys before I got into coaching, I had Forgiveness Heals, which was an inner child healing. When you picture somebody that has really upset you, um, however that looks like for you, and then at the end of the meditation, you picturing yourself with that person and how does a child react in that situation oh my god so this is inner child healing that's what i'm getting from this inner child inner ch child healing and you're choosing to work through the contrast but you're not 
whoa, that's so weird. As soon as I closed my eyes, I saw like a massive, I saw rings, like circles, but there was one big prevalent one, as in like, whoa, what was that? I don't see it now. Whoa, as soon as I closed my eyes, I just saw like one circle, like a thick circle. I'm looking at my ring light right now and it literally reminds me of the ring light and it was just like the middle. Is this the inner circle? Oh, this is the inner circle. The inner circle, the people that are closest to you. So this is probably family, yeah. Or people who are your family. Doesn't have to be like in the blood type. The inner circle. Choosing the light over the inner circle. And then the 10 of pentacles is just knowing that there is peace and there's knowing that you are doing the right thing for you. Holy smokes, that, that was a lot for the hermit. Okay, basically what I'm trying to say for the hermit card with all of those ones, it's basically you, you had to do a lot of inner child healing, that meditation. If you're stuck, please look at my free exclusive tra training. I made a 20 minute video showing you how I was able to heal my own childhood traumas because everything, not everything, a lot of traumas that you are not, like, a lot, what I'm trying to say is a lot of patterns of the things that you are going through in your adult life right now. Have a look at a relationship. You're attracting the same type of asshole after asshole after asshole. Connect the dots looking back. Where did that asshole come from? Was it your dad? How did he treat your mom? What did you see? Always go back. There's always something that's connected back. There could have been a trauma. Maybe you can't remember it because you need, you know, sometimes when people go through trauma, especially my clients that have been sexually abused, and even for myself too, I didn't realize there was parts of my childhood when I actually was sexually abused because I had blocked it. And then as I was working through my, with my clients who were sexually abused, it triggered something in me and I'm like, shit. And I said to mom, having a conversation with her and she's like, oh yeah, I remember when you were five and you said such and such used to touch my private parts. And then all of that came down. I feel like a deep heaviness on my chest. So I feel like this is like relieving the heaviness so you can move forward, restoring the the justice, restoring the imbalances in your life. There is a lot going on for this. Whoa. You have to own your story. Don't be afraid of your story. Your story, your pain is here to teach you lessons and your pain is, is here to make you stronger. You're not defined by your pain. What you're defined of is what you make of yourself after you have made peace with that. And if you need help, check out my training. And if you want to join my coaching program, you have an option to jump on a call with me. <sighs> well, that got really heavy, didn't it? So this is internal work. This is still the internal prepping the foundations. You don't want to carry this into what's coming for the next 20 to 30 years. You actually want to allow it to just go. I have my major heart chakra pain now. And <laughs> I over brewed my lemon and ginger tea and that ginger was like, oh, it's really good for the throat chakra. Okay, Tuesday, feeling very hot, very hot. Tuesday, what do my MK fan need to know, just please? By the way, I wasn't expecting to pull six cards just for Monday. I needed clarity on the home and I couldn't figure it out. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We got the world card again, okay. So the angels are making it very clear that you heal this pain in the action phase of the moon. You have to, you have to shift something. Yes, you have gotten to an end and they're like, oh, there's two other cards that came out with that one. We had the queen of swords, which is moving past contra contrast. And then we also had the four of cups, which is like reflecting back. I keep hearing that Tina Arena song. As I reflect on the, as my on the something, it's puzzled, it's puzzled me how I've lost control. Tina Arena. I love that album of hers. Um, still running. That's an anthem, <clears throat> but it's not still running as in like, Looking back on the life I've been given has got me puzzled how I've lost control. 
when your heart's screaming words like just leave it, but I was broken <clears throat> with nowhere to go, setting fire to the hurt and the reason. I played a role. I played part in my role, was a fool, didn't know I was trapped in believing to know this day was all about you. You took my freedom, but I'm still running. You tore my heart out, but it's still beating. You stole my beauty, but it's still glowing. These walls I build up, you can't climb no more. Wow. It's like you're taking your power back. That's what it is. You've now figured out the action phase of the moon. It's like, okay, all of these things are happening and now you're like doing the internal work. Fixing the void, not fixing, healing. I don't think fixing is a good word. Healing <clears throat> the injustices. The injustice that has been caused to you that you've been holding on. This could be like decades of pain. This could literally be like a year of pain. This could be like a couple of weeks, whatever it is. Don't bring it forward into where you want to be because it's not in alignment with your dream life and everything you want to manifest. You're coming to the end of this, but you, you, the angels are like, okay, Okay, you got to the world card, but maybe you didn't apply to all of you. You still have some shit you need to fix up, you know? And they're like, sort it out before we go into the next um, eclipse season from July. And when Mercury retrograde comes in and things can get a little... You'll be able to see the things that you may have missed. So like, please do the work. Otherwise, we will have to give you divine intervention. Okay. We're at 18 minutes and I've only done Tuesday. Okay. Wednesday. I'll go quicker. Stay please, angels. One card, please. Thanks. Oh, okay. The Five of Pentacles is kind of like you're not seeing the beauty in the situation, but also like crying over spilt milk. I always say that with this card because I can never think of the most the appropriate. It's like you're not seeing the silver lining. This all had to happen. You're going to turn your pain into greatness and you're going to help so many other people. There is beauty in your pain. You just don't see it yet because you're so consumed and attached to the story of who you keep telling yourself that you are. But you are more than all of the pain you have been through. You are more because you are creative. You are wonderful. You are literally lovable because you exist. Like. Think of that. You are lovable because you exist. The universe is here to support you, but they're saying, darling, come on. Yes, as you heal this pain and as you take this action, maybe this is you literally going up to someone and saying, like, you really upset me when you said this. And I'm just letting you know that that is not okay. And in terms of moving forward, I would love to have you in my life, but things have to change. And I really would love to come to a compromise so we can work together. I had to take my own advice. All right, Thursday. Wait, it's probably, it's just hard for you. That's what I'm sensing. The lovers card, okay. This could be the love within yourself or the love with your honey bunny. However this looks, this is romantic. This is relationships, let's be real. But you know, have a look closely. Down the bottom is a snake with an apple in its mouth. Oh, well, it's carrying an apple, so it could be like the poison, or you could have the two doves with the crown. So it could be like, you choose which way you want it to go. Well, in terms of justice, if we look at the focus card for the week, maybe you're not actually deciding this. Maybe this is karma. So we look in that Saturn retrograde, the Lord of Karma. Okay, Friday. Friday is what? <clears throat> The trusting, I trust the processes, everything's working out for me. The waxing give us. I love the moon. Friday, the chariot, okay, trusting. So the movement is here. That's what we had last Monday. So the movement is here. You're propelling forward. It's tough, but you're finding your movement. You were a little bit stuck at the beginning of the week, but now you're starting to be like trusting. Oh, I did the right thing. I, I grew my balls and I did it, you know, like, okay, Saturday, oh, Saturday is the two of cups, <laughs> which is the balance of the emotions. That's really interesting. We're having so much to do with twos. The justice, which means it's like, <laughs> I just saw myself in the viewfinder right then and it reminded me, I'm a little teapot, sure, I'm 
step here is my handle, here is my spot. I don't know why I thought of that. When my hands went like this. Anyways, so this is a lot to do with balancing the emotions so you feel free. It's the yin and the yang. Down the bottom underneath them with the tree roots is like Pisces, which is balanced. Pisces is like a water sign, but it's also the most emotional and it's balancing those emotions. Let me quickly go to Sunday and then see if there's anything else I need to tell you. I feel like a lot of the week was basically sorted around Monday. Ah. Are you kidding me? This happens all the time. Now we have the two of pentacles. This is interesting because remember I said last week we were in Gemini, Gemini being the twins, and then like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I pulled two cards continuously. Well, I, it just happened. They just fell out. And now we've had the two of cups, and now we've had the two of pentacles. So there is so much to do with balance restoring the balance in every aspect. Like we've got the justice card, we've got the two of cups, we've got the two of pentacles, we've got the lovers card. There are four cards in here talking all about restoring the balance in your life. However that looks like for you. And then on my hands, I'm feeling like, you raise me up so I can stand on mountains. It's like the angels have been raising you up, preparing your vibration behind the scenes. And now you've gotten to a stage where you're like, mm-mm. Don't go there, girlfriend. Like, you don't... Um, oh, that don't impress me much. So you got the moves, but have you got the touch? Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I think you're all right. Who was that? Um, Shania Twain. Every time I hear Shania Twain, it reminds me of seeing her um, picture in Vegas because it was either Shania Twain singing one time or Celine Dion and thank God Celine Dion was singing when I went to Vegas. That don't impress me much. So I feel like you're going back, remember we said that a couple of weeks ago, maybe it was a month ago, it was like something's coming up and it's not impressing you and now you're actually addressing it. This is an amazing week my loves, an amazing, amazing week. This is a lot to do with the internal work. You're kind of figuring out what you need to do. You're more so spending time doing the inner child healing. Someone's triggered you, connect the dots looking back and figure out where did this come from? You've gotten to an end. This is about relationships. You found the movement and you're restoring the balance. So amazing week. We've got the, the action face of the moon, the waxing half mood and the waxing givers to trust. Action and trust. I'm very excited for you. If you join me on the live chat, my loves, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Like, I appreciate you so much. And I've actually noticed that there's more of you in terms of when the moon is the most illuminated around the action and the full moon. And then as we go into like um, the balsamic moon and into the new moon, when the moon is basically non-existent, not as many of you are on, which I'm finding is very interesting. So yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. Wow. If you're, if you're like at the stage where you're like, okay, I know I need help. I'm willing to heal. I'm ready to take this to the next level. I'm ready to end this cycle of abuse. I've gotten to the stage where like, I love me more and I'm ready to change. And I'm literally, there's no other plan B. Like I have to change this. Otherwise, like I can't keep going on like this, like this is not going to end well. Please check out my free exclusive training where I'm gonna teach you how to heal that emotional pain from your childhood traumas. So you can make peace with it. You can break the cycle of abuse. You can say, send love and gratitude and forgiveness to every single person that, that hurts you in your life. And you can take back your power, you know, and become this unstoppable force where you'd be like, I am flipping fabulous. And I am here to change the world. How do you change the world? You change yourself first. And then you start emanating this vibrance about you. And then these beautiful people are attracted to you and you're able to serve them and help them in a way in which you don't want them going through the same shit that you used to go through. But that's why I do what I do because it feels good. And it just feels right. And it's like, if I've learned all of this stuff, I have to share it because I learned, I, I transformed and I changed my whole life. I broke the cycle of abuse in my own family so that when I raise children one day, they won't have to go through the same shit that I went through. I spent a lot of time manifesting Peter and made sure that 
you know, when you're manifesting a partner, it's not just a partner, it's like the person that you're going to share meals with, holidays with, the person you're going to ask the most about, how was your day, you know? The one that's going to have an influence on the way in which you raise your children. Like, finding a partner, I don't know why I'm going back to this one. Maybe because I'm talking about my own experience, breaking the cycle of abuse, raising conscious free children, which then will enable mankind to ascend to the next level of consciousness. Like that's my, that's what I'm put on this earth to do. I went through the pain, I felt it, I broke the cycle of abuse so that I can raise children that don't have to suffer the way in which I do, the way that I did. And that's the biggest gift, teaching them the strategies, the tools to feel pain work with the mother moon and to get into vibrational alignment and to have a flipping good time along the way. Like that's why I do what I do. I just love it. So basically what I'm trying to say is you will have to step up to the plate. You will have to plan. You will already have planned in the time in which you're doing, going to execute all of this because you did that last week in the crescent moon. So step up to the plate, own it, and know that you deserve it because you are worthy. You are enough. All right, my love. Thanks so much for joining me. Have an amazing week wherever you are in the world. Please follow me over on Instagram. Um, I give you like behind the scenes of more so of my life and lots of tips and strategies and give you updates of everything that I'm manifesting. So if you'd love to find out more, please go and join me over on Instagram. It's at Melanie Kate Love. And I will see you next week. Bye, my loves.